Hi everybody, this is the Comic Book Hunt, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the People's Champion. Your host, hi, and of course, welcome back to the Comic Book Hunt, and hope you like this video. Uh, I'm going to talk about something a little bit different here, and just talk about some movies. Uh, we're going to talk about Doctor Strange. Before we get into this, if you watch for the first time or not watch for the first time, watch the entirety of those videos. I'm trying to get this channel monetized and make a couple bucks off of these videos from the comics and some movies and whatever I feel like doing at the moment. So here we have from Bound in the Comics, Doctor Strange director Scott Derrickson provides new details on why he left Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness. Okay, let's see what he has to say. I'm sure it's very enlightening to what's going on at Disney and Marvel at the time, or currently. Doctor Strange director Scott Derrickson provides some more details about why he chose to leave the sequel, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Okay, why did he leave? Well, let's find out. It's funny you should ask. Back in January 2020, Derrickson took the photo where he announced Marvel and I and mutually agreed to part ways on Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness due to creative differences. I am thankful for our collaboration and will remain on as executive producer. Derrickson did not provide any details on what those creative differences were at the time. He had previously shared on Twitter just a month earlier. You can make a bad movie, make a bad film from a good script, but you can't make a good film from a bad script. Uh-oh. Speaking with the playlist of Discourse Podcast, Derrickson shared, all I, wanted, all I can say is that what we said publicly is exactly the truth. He elaborated, we had creative, real creative differences. You know, the movie I wanted to make and how I wanted to make it was different than, it was just increasingly obvious that we were pulling against each other. And that's how you make a really bad movie, I think. When the producer, the studio, and the filmmaker are making different moves, you end up with a monstrosity. And you know, that's why I had to bounce, he declared. Derrickson went on to detail that his vision for the film was a genuine horror film of sorts. And it was going to be an extreme departure from their first film. Now, the rumor was originally that the villain Nightmare was going to be in this movie. That he was going to, that he was going to make an appearance. That did, I guess that didn't happen. Writer C. Robert Cargill made that abundantly clear back in March of 2018 during a Q&A. Following the screening of Doctor Strange in Austin, Texas. Where he revealed the villain of the sequel was supposedly, and it was supposed to be Nightmare. See? Now, I'm reading this for the first time, and a lot of times I read these articles for the first time just so I can get my first initial thoughts on it. It's much more genuine that way, in my view. He also shared Marvel movies work in threes. They also work outside of their threes. Some of the better Marvel films have more than one villain in them. Me and Scott have not laid the groundwork for it, but what I can say is that I have a feeling that whatever Nightmare is involved with, Baron Mordo, being somebody who considers himself the defend of natural law, will have something to do with it. Cargo also stated, quote, that's the thing. If we do another film, it's going to be weirder than this one. That's the only way we'll do another one is if we, if we get it to get weird. Okay? Despite stepping down from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness over these creative differences, Derrickson said there was no bad blood between him and Marvel. Quote, yeah, I went to the premiere. I'm still friends with Kevin Feigl and everything with me, and Marvel's really cool, he said. Shared. They invited me to the premiere, and I went, and I'm friends with Sam Raimi. I love Sam, so there's no bad blood over that. And interesting. Isn't that very interesting? A lot of stuff that goes on, you know, that's involved with these movies behind the scenes. I mean, it doesn't matter what any movie it is. And obviously there was, there was a problem. Now, the, this movie... As you know, the main prota the main antagonist in this movie was the Scarlet Witch, which was Wanda. Um, and I guess Doctor Strange. I haven't seen the movie, so if, you if you've seen the movie, let me know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I guess she was the main antagonist in the movie. But that's kind of where we're going with these movies now, is that the heroes are, are being uh, depicted as the villains now. That's, you know, that's, it's tough to deal with, you know. That's not what we want to see, and obviously we're seeing the results at the box office, that people don't want to see these heroes treated as villains. We don't want these heroes being treated like uh, they're afterthoughts in their own movies. That's why uh, there was such a backlash in the comic book industry, you know, been, that's been going on for the last seven or eight years now, where the main character is an afterthought in their own book, 
you know, even on a cover, a lot of times the main character is in the background and the character that they focus in on is out in the forefront, which is very unusual to see. Uh, in the past, when characters would be introduced, new characters, they would be equal to the hero on the cover. And some of the characters, I mean, just looking at this cover, you can see this Thor cover, who's the main character on this book? It's Thor. Okay? It's Thor. And and this cover, which is, uh, I guess, issue 11 of the Fantastic Four, you see what this book is going to be about. Just open it up, you know there's going to be a fight between the Hulk and the Thing. And the Fantastic Four taking a bit of a step back in this book, you're going to see a rumble in the in the desert. So back in the day, you, you noticed these things with these characters right away. You put this on the, the shelves, you knew it was going to be in the book. Even if you didn't know what the story was. You knew that there was going to be a fight between the Thing and a fight between the Hulk. And you knew in this book that the Avengers, this uh, 1988 version of the Avengers, that Thor was the main character in the book, even though his title is, this, this is the name of the you know, it's the title of his book. But you knew Thor was the main character and all these other characters uh, took second uh, fiddle. And you knew the next character was, was Captain America, who at the time was the captain. But now... <clears throat> not only are the heroes taking a back seat, but there are no heroes. Uh, for instance, I, I'm seeing all this, I guess, all these different uh, commercials on regular TV for Loki, season two. Now, as a comic book fan, I know that Loki is a villain. All right, And he's always been a villain. I mean, in the myth, he's always sort of a trickster. He could be, do the good things, do just a lot of bad stuff. But he's sort of like in the middle. But in Marvel, he was never depicted as a hero. Very, very rarely. And if he was, there was always some angle for him to where he would do something evil. Uh, he was basically, in my view, he was never an A-list hero, a A-list villain. Now, he was uh, performed rather well by Tom Hiddleston, but Hiddleston, but the reality is he's not a hero. And and I guess that's why you've seen these, you know, these weird results of him going through this this the streaming uh, show, especially in the first season. But for the most part, it how they do things now in Hollywood, how they do things in comics, uh, is the opposite of what we've learned in culture over the last 250 years. Heroes always lauded and applauded, and the villains always been sort of the outcast in society. Now, right now, they're promoting the other, and that is scary. But... Um, let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Combo Cut. I have more videos as we go along. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.